This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Production service by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. It is the awesome cast. It's time to get geeky, get awesome. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the social medias here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, with me, video professional. Do I, do I say that? Do I say what I do? I'm just like the guy with the podcast, right? Yeah, uh, you're just the dude. I'm just the dude with the podcast. Also with <laughs> us, also fresh from a California big adventure is Katie Dude is a social media maven and girl about town. <laughs> lady doing things <laughs> lady doing things around town if you will yes lady uh, doing stuff and well things. good to have you here we have, i didn't drag you into the studio oh, oh that's a show notes i didn't drag you into the <laughs> studio this time because we, we got it we both got in at like 11 something it is a wednesday edition if you're noticing a little bit late uh either live or in your feed later uh so i mean you know it's uh we're both we're we're fresh off of uh, uh all the roller coasters at yes. Six Flags Magic Mountain, at least the ones mm-hmm. that were open. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, you know what? I only felt nauseous once out of the... Yeah, we, that was that one that kind of did us both in, the, but the, we, we rallied and we were fine. Well, I think we were just queasy because the, the, the people in front of us got stuck on the hill going up and we're like, <laughs> please not us, please not us. I thought you were, about, you were about to walk away from that one, weren't you? Oh, yeah. If they were making people walk down or go backwards and back up, I was going to be like, sorry, buddy, we're you done. See, she started <laughs> motioning towards the exit. And I'm just like, I, I, think, I don't know. It won't be that bad, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> We talking to each other into the greatest things at these at these parks. So, uh, yes. but no. Oh shoot! I didn't add that to our awesome list of things we awesomed. Our new these these watch features they just added. Oh, let's get into that here just in a moment. But uh, <laughs> I actually, is that. is that an awesome thing or is that a tip thing? <laughs> We'll make that a tip. <laughs> All right. I got a tip for later. We got some awesome tips here for later after the pizza ad. Uh, so we'll get into those. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, of course, before we uh, talk about things that we experienced on our trip, including our follow-up about how did the Starlink go in the desert? We'll find out. The answer may surprise you. Uh <laughs> Uh, uh, definitely the social engineering will freaking surprise you uh as i've discovered uh but anyways katie let's start with yours what's your awesome thing of the week it is i feel like every like so many months we have an awesome new water bottle and uh you know (laughs) it's it's funny because they all have very specific uses and things so it's not like i feel bad going oh i already have something that does this i do not have something who does this so this is the owala i don't know o-w-a-l-a O W A A L A uh water bottle uh da, 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 and it's a target and uh so I my mom was about to purchase a Stanley water bottle and I was like or whatever container and I was like mom you're gonna hate this please don't buy this let me find you something better so I googled cool new water bottles and <laughs> this is one of the options that popped up what is this guy uh what is what is unique and cool about this is the first part flips up like a little handle so you can whatever mm-hmm. uh, next part is you hit the button and it opens ah. so there's no touching like which is a big thing with me and my mom's a nurse and like we don't want her touching her mouth thing on her water bottle too often or when you're um, hiking yeah yeah my hands are filthy i'm, I'm always dirty <laughs> or when you're at a uh, or when you're at a uh, 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 amusement park touching all touching all the things yeah all the yucky things uh, but it's both a like a straw water bottle and an open chug i don't know what you want to call it water bottle um it's both built in i don't know if you can see but that's the straw part in the front and then the open oh, dumpy part in the extra back lip. yeah so you you're not going to dump it on yourself because that's that's the thing i do when i drink out of water bottles that have this um relatable yeah, we'll dump it. yeah and then or you could use the straw part uh the most important feature to me or one of the most important features to me is um this i don't know i have it flipped completely upside down over oh. my keyboard Whoa, oh look at that it's exciting Whoa. um so it doesn't leak which is you a mad lot of water woman bottles. you mad woman I, you ah, look at it. <laughs> 
So it doesn't leak um, whenever you have it closed, which is super exciting because I you could throw. I've been tossing it in the bags and not having to worry about it because I feel like a lot of times I'll have bottles that will leak. We'll, we'll say they will not leak, but the minute they're on their side, they're like, oh, look at that. Ha -ha. Um, it's also insulated. Um, it keeps water cold for quite a while and uh, it comes in a bunch of different colors, which is also a neat thing. So if you had more than one of those at the house, you can pick different colors. Mm -hmm. I love this guy. Excellent. And excellent. Um Excellent. I am noticing, <laughs> bear with me for a moment because I'm noticing we have no audio going through our main feed, but that's okay. Recording Ooh. the audio so we can just go with this. This is a fun, fun, fun experiment. I don't know where, why it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing right now. Uh, well, you know what? I bet I plugged it into the wrong one. I bet. Uh, uh -huh. How about now? No. Yep. There we go. There's some audio. Anyways. <laughs> I don't notice anything. Nothing, nothing to see here. Um, that's okay. I'm re no, that well, we'll be fixing that later. Uh, so anywho, um, no, no. Awesome. Uh, so I'm still, of course, I, I feel like I'm spoiled by the Brita bottle uh, a little bit here. So, um, you know, because it really kind of, uh, uh, solves a lot of that problem. I don't have to worry, you know, like where I'm getting water from. Uh, but no, those, those are, that's very functional. Very cool. So you can check it out. Uh, you have a link here at target. That's going to be on our show notes. And, uh, that is the Owala free swip 20 ounce comes in many, many colors at about 27, uh, 99 over there. Nope. Nope. Yeah. There we go. There you go. And you got all your past pastel choices. So go check. Yeah. And I think one of the better parts of it, and I will, um, is I like to use different, like things like liquid IV and different things to hydrate, help myself be better hydrated since it's metal inside. Um, it doesn't, the taste doesn't get stuck in the bottle and I just mix it around I'm like, Oh, look at that. Whoa. I can just start mix it every yep. different direction and it's fine. Awesome. Awesome. So go check it out. Well, my awesome thing of course is the Starlink. I'm not going to pull it out of the box. I got to, had to get a new case for it and everything to be able to and figure out how to meet. We figured out how to do media, uh, uh, passes for the airport. Um, we're adults. Yo, she took a <laughs> long time with my media pass when we were coming out of Long Beach, by the way. I didn't get to tell you that yesterday. <laughs> she was really inspecting. I just flashed it at the girl at Pittsburgh and she's like, okay, put the oversized and took it away and told me to go over to the big crazy thing uh, uh, to drop it off where everybody takes their skis. Um, but <laughs> this time, uh, yeah, it was, I was just like, oh no, oh no. I hope Missy did the right thing because there's a random barcode and numbers on there. And I was like, I don't know what that means, but I hope. I hope it works. <laughs> so, um, but no, so we, we got to figure that out and I got, and now I'm going to much more efficiently be bringing equipment with me on these. And of course I do want to have a flight scheduled until November now. So perfect. Eh, just in time. It'll go great. Get thrown in the back of the rental cars for the Michigan and Pennsylvania trips. Anywho, um, we have, uh, so yeah, so we did the Starlink situation. Um, again, we are in the desert. We're in California, um, in, in the, in, in the high desert above Los Angeles and it's classically not had about a, a lot of internet. Katie is there with me, uh, video photography for this event. And, um, and, uh, so, so we, sh and, and, and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta stream this award ceremony. I, I gotta, I gotta shore this up. It's an expense, you know, it, 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 whatever needs to get this done, we can use this. And we've been bitten multiple times with showing up places that should have internet. And then something happened where the internet just didn't happen. Um, so, so and, and Missy, we trust Sorg, trust with the flights. Uh, absolutely. Thank you, Potter, in the chat room. Uh, but anyways, so we get there, and one, our, our friends at DES, uh, uh, Mike Zeman, was, you know, I knew he was bringing his because they needed to do operations for their scoring technology they needed to do for the event. We have an interview with Mike from years ago, I think, talking about the scoring that they do over there. Uh, some very, very cool tech stuff. Um, but then we show up and we're just like, there's three other Starlinks all around. And we're like, what is happening? He's like, I didn't know about these until today. <laughs> it's like, okay. Um, SpaceX apparently sponsored the internet <laughs> at the location. Um, and there were several Starlinks around. So there was like a lot of internet offered for the students that were there as well. Because cell service was, eh, it was like a bar or two if we were lucky for the most part. Uh, so, so that was, so we, there was at least access to internet and whenever we were in a Wi-Fi bubble as we were uh, around the site, obviously not out in the track or anything like that, but enough that we could get done and get things to SAE for social media work and things like that. Um, and you can see some of, uh, uh Katie's videos and pictures on the uh, SAE university programs account, by the way. So there you go, you know, already out there. I like that. Uh, but anyways, 
so we learned some things. We learned some things about the how the Starlink works. We learned, you know, how well it's going to work with something like a live view when you don't have much going on. Now, originally, I was supposed to have, uh, I do, uh, and, I, and I did. I, I was supposed to have, I did of sorts for whatever reason. I, I was supposed to be able to get on the Wi-Fi and, and be able to on, on somebody else's Starlink as a backup because you don't want to be on just one thing. And I learned a really good reason why during this. Um, and it wasn't the reason that we talked about because I, you know, I was kind of explaining that you know, hey, there's some downtime sometimes because you just you know, as the satellites come and go, sometimes there's a gap in, in an outage, you know, maybe once an hour or something like that. And that's what you need to circumvent. The other outage you need to work about, worry about is students don't give a crap about your Starlink <laughs> setup and all the cones around it, okay? I'm going to load this up, and this is this is what we had set up. I don't think this is full resolution, but you'll get the idea. This is the setup. It's a nice little panel. It's propped up. I got, I'm like, I got cones around it. It's great. It's going to my case. I'm at the first... The first thing over there, and uh, you know, you, you see how remote we are here in the desert. Uh, that's the setup, the same kind of small setup. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram and everything that we've done in the past. And by the way, look how filthy that MacBook is. That's probably about an hour into being set up under the tent in the high, you know, the, the blowing around wind that was happening during this thing. Um, but yeah, so the problem was this place was so full of students because everybody's bundled in there because uh, everybody wants to get out of the wind, and there's well over a thousand students. I think this is a video to show you how. Uh, no, that's us. That's us. Uh, I think there's a video to show you how windy it was for just for a little bit of uh, perspective here. Um, it was whipping those. I'm surprised nobody got hurt from that being snapped on somebody uh, the walls of these tents. But the problem was um, nobody gave a crap about the Starlink, stepped over it, and these entire teams would be leaving the tent and coming in the front, but they would walk through the area with all the cones. Because I'm sitting there, and I'm like, why are we dropping? I'm watching the connection like bounce uh, back and forth, and I keep looking over my shoulder. I don't see anybody standing in front of the, live, the, the Starlink. So for the last, like, what, couple of how, – how long did I disappear? The last couple of uh, – uh, uh, events they were giving awards out for. I just went and guarded this thing and tried to direct people around it. And I'm telling everybody to the left of the satellite dish, to the left of the satellite dish. And then I, I literally have to physically stop people from going to the right. It's like, no, around the satellite dish, right? Um, on top of that, when I was testing it two days before, just to make sure everything worked, to make sure we were good to go, so there's no surprise on that last day. We have a small window to set up. So if there's any problems, it could kill the whole project. Um, I'm sitting there, and there's like you saw the windows if you're on our video version um, for these tents. So first of all, again, it's set up, and I'm and these students just gather over it to the point where one guy was like straddling it, talking to his friends as I'm trying to test it. And I had to lift up the the thing and say, "Hey, can you step away from my internet?" Um, I literally looked over, saw somebody pick up this panel, and it's just like a panel with a little prop on it to to prop it up towards the sky at an angle, right? He picked it up, looked at it, and threw it down. I, why are you throwing my <laughs> hundreds of dollar satellite on the ground, man? I, he's lucky I had a ball between me and him. So I don't know what the heck was going on with these students. I don't know if they're just sunburnt and sandburnt from, from the weekend that they were just out of their damn minds. Um, so... We are setting up like a fortress around this thing next time we're required to use it for one thing. Uh, so we're actually going to use it on Speedway, and I don't think there's supposed to be anybody around us, but I think we'll find a way. Uh, but uh, but we also have other internets there, so we're not going to be quite as dependent on the Starlink. We're kind of just bringing it as a backup uh, for everything to make sure we have something a little more secure than you know a, 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 a thousand kids getting on all the cell networks across the, uh, the the event or anything like that. So. So that was, um, I highly recommend it if you do need to work in a remote location. Um, I think it works, it probably works much better than what we're doing for streaming. You need more, you almost just need more than one Starlink at this point for reliability. We did have fallback because we did have a little bit of cellular. Um, and if we are, of course, able to, if we are, of course, able to get a secondary thing on it, uh, that'd be great too. Uh, you know, like, like for whatever reason, I don't think I, I can finish the thought. We connected to the other network. It worked fine on my laptop, but for whatever reason, the live view would not connect to it. Um, I don't know if he might have had a block. I got to talk to him about that. Um, so regardless, I mean, we had a few drops, a few glitches here and there, but for having broadcast from the desert, I think we did a very, very good job of delivering that event. 
um, and everything. So I think we were very, I, I was very happy with that uh, for the most part. So, um, but yeah, um, so, so Katie, I, I don't know, you didn't really get to experience much of this other than you got to use some of the Starlink for uh, your own phone usage as well during this event. Yes. Yes, I got to use it for my own interneting. Um, but no, it worked really well. That was easy to connect to. Like all of it was pretty. Like it was, it was neat. It was just like having a you know a regular a Wi-Fi in the desert. <laughs> so it was pretty darn cool. And I think the the signal was great. Like I didn't have any issues. I was able to do whatever. Didn't notice really no. a big difference. And it was interesting because like, you know just kind of the look at you know I did take a, a screen cap and I was telling you about this afterwards. And I forgot to show you this. It does have a section in the app where um, it tells you what your outages are looking like. So you can see like I was getting nothing for like the two second, five second, and the point uh, one second ones. Uh, you know basically the under under two seconds ones, and everything was like point six, point eight seconds. Like and that's enough to interrupt the video stream, right? Um, and you see. Uh, if you're watching on this, uh, we started around uh, probably around 310-ish or 310, 318-ish, right? And you see the no signal, you see that. And actually, that, that no signal received, that probably was the uh, satellite dropout or something. No, actually, that's probably the obstructions. That's probably absolutely the obstructions. Um, so that's every time a student decided to stand beside <laughs> or over the uh the satellite dish so considering that everybody seems happy with it we delivered the stream uh, uh and even even as it was i saw the video drop but i never really heard the audio drop out uh mm -hmm. in, in in my monitoring of this thing um also i don't know because i'm also watching the video back on the thing that's going out so i don't know if the glitch is on my end or what went out so you know uh, but again, uh, there were plenty of people in the chat room. I know we had at least a hundred people watching that thing, um, from all around. Cause we have teams from Brazil and, 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 you know, Mexico and, and all kinds of places there. So it's always a really, really cool event. So excited for that. Uh, again, next we have Michigan, uh, for formula. Uh, we are actually going to be working with a Brazil team of volunteers to be live streaming that. So it's going to be a fun experiment. We're going to be, uh, working with a lot of volunteers there at the, uh, FSA, uh, situation there. Uh, then, uh, uh, Katie and I will be going to Williamsport, Pennsylvania for our first ever in-state Baja event. Yeah, that's That'll wild. <laughs> After all these years, it's the first time it's in my own state. So, uh, but yeah, no, it'll be fun uh, to go do that and uh, see what they have in store for us. And then, uh, and then that'll be the most. That then, then maybe I can breathe and be at home for a couple weeks. We'll see about that uh, before we go back out for Michigan again uh, uh, later in June. So. Um, but yeah, no, that is it. Uh, so again, highly recommend it. And again, uh, cost wise, I got to say for what you're getting, it's not terrible. Okay. It's something like six or $700 for the dish itself, which you got to pick up at Best Buy and we got the travel one. And then, uh, service is about $150 a month, which is what a lot of us pay for our home internet anyways. So, uh, especially if they're doing stuff like what we do here at the office and things like that. Right. Uh, it does seem to be about 20 megs up. It feels very cable-y where it's like something like 200 down 20 up, um, which is plenty for what we're trying to do with the stream, you know, uh, here, but, uh, you know, you know, obviously there could be some reasons that if you're trying to do multiple streams or need more of a, data upload situation, a massive data upload situation, big files kind of situation, that's definitely going to bog you down, especially if you are sharing that amongst multiple people. Uh, so, so we were able to, you know, that that's fine for us, but maybe not every situation. So uh, going out to your camper and doing a, a, a video podcast, maybe not be uh, the best of deal up in the mountain or something like that. Right. So anyways, uh, so that is that we will, uh, okay. And of course we're going to be bringing that. It's going to be a nice backup as we go to other events and, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully we won't need it, but at least we do have options. We're not dead in the water when it turns out the cell towers are full or non-existent mm -hmm. or somebody cuts the DSL with a backhoe. Uh, so <laughs> real things I can say. Uh, anywho, did I use, my mom wants to know if I used her Best Buy. I don't think I I need to double check that now. Uh, anyways, now I'm concerned. <laughs> uh, oh, she, mom's on the stream and she's wondering if I used her Best Buy uh, to buy the, uh, the the Starlink. No, mom, they accidentally logged us out, so we didn't even get credit on our account for the Starlink. So yeah, <laughs> yes, this isn't Tuesday. Uh, 
Uh, no, the wrestling promotions, we we we're, we do fine on the cell service, actually, uh, in the chat room. Anyways, thank you, everybody that does support the show, no matter what night we end up on. Uh, of course, this is a weird alternate night because we have been traveling. Uh, a programming note next week, because uh, uh, there's been a shift in our travel uh, uh, situation, uh, we will be actually probably broadcasting from a hotel room in Michigan. I don't know where in Michigan yet. I think I don't know if I'm keeping my hotel because some things have changed. I might need to get a different one that's in a different location. <laughs> so, but thank you everybody to support the show. This is why we still do it. This is why I will set up a studio in a hotel room next week. Uh, our friends at this Comic <laughs> Club level, Cynthia Klosky, fan of the show level, Michael Fedor, Matt, Fo- Matt Weller, John DeGore, and Dave Profbot Partner. Spouse of Rooster Affair at Rooster Affair. Dot com. Thank you, everybody, that is supporting the show uh, with everything as well. So, uh, again, Katie, let's keep the tips for the end of the show here. Uh, but we do have a couple of news items to get into. Wait, did the Riz accept? He was not joking about that? Nope. I messaged him today, and I bribed him with tacos. <gasps> is mm-hmm. the Riz yeah. also going to do the marathon with you and Taco Mania with us? Yeah. Fantastic. He's like... He asked me, he's like, are you also uh, wrestling? And I was like, I will buy you tacos. I, mean, I, I literally just got off the call with the producer of that, sh- of, of the video producer for that show <laughs> for this. Looking forward to what they are, friends. Again, if you're Pittsburgh area, Taco Mania. Wait, I'm bearing the lead. Pittsburgh Marathon first. <laughs> you support Katie. <laughs> sure, we're going support right Katie. That. Sorry. Sorry, tacos. I'm sorry. You are doing a very good thing. Raising money for 412 Thrive. Running in the Pittsburgh Marathon. But, of course, you cannot blame me for being distracted by tacos and beer. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, I get it. But you do have a but link. Yes. We are sharing that. I think we've shared that in the group as well mm-hmm. and a lot of our social medias uh, so you can support what's going on there. Are you still looking for places for the relay? Uh, yes, because currently I have – it's me and Riz and one other person. So I am currently doing the second leg and the fourth and the fifth. So I might as well have signed up for a hat. <laughs> what time is this in the morning? <laughs> early uh probably seven yeah i don't need sleep yeah let me think let me think about this for a moment let me think you would get two you would be the second one to go let and me i know. could just do fourth and fifth let me know where you're at by saturday morning yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> okay don't, and don't and crossed. don't tell me how long the legs are 800 miles don't tell me how long the legs are and riz was like it's a 5k and i'm like exactly it's a 5k <laughs> wait wait is it not is it not a 5k it depends on the leg. <laughs> this is a cat. This- so- okay. Okay. Well, I'm <laughs> glad we've, we've, we've drug you through the desert. So for your, for your unofficial training for this. Yep. Um, that's all I've done. <laughs> <laughs> you have a note here for six flags, magic mountain. I didn't know what you yes. wanted to talk about it for the, uh, as it pertained to the show. I was just like, we need to talk about it. We went there. We rode roller coasters. Uh, we went, ooh, what was, ooh, tell them about our favorite one. That was, what was that one called again? I have to look it up. because I The Scream? Uh, no, that one was, no. That was the dumb one that got stuck going up the hill that I almost walked away <laughs> from. Uh, that was a fun ride. The Full Throttle? Yes, Full Throttle. Wait, first, that tell, was tell, tell them your first experience with this thing as we were walking by the back end of it. The Full Throttle? Yes. Oh, uh, the tunnel. The, oh, the tunnel. Yeah, we were just so we're on the back end. So you can take you you can take an incline. It's like being at home. You take an incline to the top of uh, Magic Mountain, um, where the coals or the where the Kaufmans used to be, and then you <laughs> make, <laughs> and then you go and so like all we see is this ride on this white track shoot up backwards. Wait, no, we hear, we hear, um, we hear crazy train, crazy train. Yeah. And they're like in a tunnel, we're watching them and it shoots backwards like this up a hill or like a, a hill and then shoots back down. And, um, so there was another classic rock song. What's the other one? Was it? A, was I don't know. I, ca- I can't tell you what song that actually played when we made, when we did the ride. No, it wasn't mm-hmm. crazy. And train. then. Mm-hmm. Well, we watched it, like, them happen. Th- this happened twice, and we we're like, "What ride is this?" Because this is one of those parks where all the roller coasters intertwine. You don't know where the entrance is. What coaster am I looking at? It's another white coaster. What the hell is that thing? Right. So yes, yeah. yeah. So this ride in particular is known as. Uh, well, I guess apparently there's a long history of world records at Six Flags Magic Mountain. It is the number one tallest and fastest looping roller coaster in the world. 
There's my uh, yeah stolen pi picture of that. So there's a picture <laughs> of that. And as you can see, we're having a blast. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, it was wild. It was so much fun. And the the loop, the first loop. So it's it's like the the uh, mag. It's magnetic. Like one where like they reverses polarization and goes pew, and you just take off and you go up and inside the loop. And it stops for a second. It pauses. You're upside down for just a few seconds. There is some hang time. Enough. There is some hang time. Yeah, yep. just long enough. Like you, I literally could look around and be like, "Oh wait, this is we're upside down." And then you go in the rest of the way. And um, this is a ride. And something we were excited about was this is the ride that we saw on TikTok where the operators uh, could be a little snarky, and it was so funny to watch. <laughs> Yeah, to the point where like they're like, "Hey guys, uh, what does the letter A sound like?" <laughs> or or hey, there's one where where I watched where it was like, uh, "Yeah, we said the countdown's ten, right?" Well, too bad I already counted. Zoom, uh, you know, they'll, they'll make a crack, hit the button, and shoot you out. It's pretty pretty great. Um, yeah, it, it's like, it, and this is like, it, it started getting more Six Flag Magic Mountain or Six Flag General TikToks after this, Katie, because of course mm -hmm. I was looking at videos going into it, and like the snark is like apparently universal at Six Flags <laughs> from the looks of things, uh, because there's the the I, of course I work at Six Flags da 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 you know meme that from the official account. And it was like, you know, it, it was it was a little bit of that, you know, it's like, a, you know, of course I work holidays <laughs> or something. <laughs> so um, it was a, it was a nice park. It, they had about 14 coasters. Definitely a lot of them were closed. Uh, I'd say literally four to six of them were closed at a time. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we did new, not do the crazy Tatsu or the X2, but we definitely mm -hmm. rode the Batman and the Riddler and the Scream and the the ninjas and uh, you know and, and things like that so it was good it was nice it was a shorter day but it was a it was a nice 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 bit nice park looks like it could use a little bit of tlc on things here and there for the most part um but uh but i think it was it was nice for a nice extra day and hang out with a friend amanda who's usually in the chat rooms here um uh in in person while we were in california so and this again this is a place that this was my fourth uh uh baja california event where i've stayed in uh, uh drove high uh six flies magic mountain every day that i drove up into the mountains to do these events and and it was really cool to uh finally uh, uh participate in that in that uh park that i've been staring at for the last um eight years <laughs> really so oh oh and there's something very special you got from there because there's a there's a DC Universe area. You could buy capes. Everybody's yes. cape. There there's were a, so many capes. I bought a, two capes. Got a Wonder Woman uh, pink cape there. And I, I like this one. I like the white. Yeah. I like the white uh, ones as well. So there you go. And there was yeah. a Supergirl. There was a Supergirl walking around too. We saw a bug. Wait. Nobody talked to her. No, nobody <laughs> talked to her. And I'm just like, it was, it's just like at a Comic Con. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so, um, oh, we did. You forgot to say we did the most important thing, which was eat funnel cake. Yes, yes, the funnel cake was pretty, pretty crazy. And it, was that ice cream that was on it? It was ice cream. It was Oreo. So it had ice cream. It was a funnel cake there with ice cream, Oreo bits, Oreo cream, and whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was a perfect Magic. way to end the day. So apparently, the funnel cake was the big was the big thing everybody needed to go for. Of course, very there's a whole Bugs Bunny world and everything like that. I love the uh, I love the motif around the DC area. Uh, we did go. They had a kind of a uh, indoor, um, you know, in the Hall of Justice, um, you know, Justice League shoot 'em up, you know, video game screen kind of game. Uh, unfortunately, Katie got the bum uh, gun. I almost, I almost <laughs> want to suggest to go in again so you could get a good gun to play this thing. But I, I love that there was a Hall of Justice and and the, like the walkthrough, which there's no but there's no line for this thing. There's a cyborg that's talking to you about what's going on while you're supposedly if there's a line. Uh, there's one of the restaurants is the Ace of Clubs, which is something from uh, if you know it from uh, Metropolis and uh, in, in in Superman. Uh, the Superman ride and the Wonder Woman were closed. Uh, don't touch. There's Batmobile. There's the Wonder Woman set up, of course, with the closed. Uh, uh thing so but i was that was it was really cool i liked i liked the little bit of what they had it was a nice little thing um i'm sure again it's one of those i'm sure it's better in season when um the park is a little more full uh so they probably, have, they, probably they would i would imagine they have some more characters out and stuff for that mm -hmm. right so you know th that was really cool it was, it was a nice little diversion there so we got to add one more uh one more uh theme park uh to our list here as we're definitely going to some more this year <laughs> 
Um, it, I was telling you, it's really hard to see the animatronics in the in the Justice League thing after going to Disney a couple of times. Oh yeah, they just seem very like ah oh, yeah, they kind of moving, aren't they? <laughs> so um, I'm sorry. After the guy like turned around and looked at you and then wielded a lightsaber in Rise of the Resistance, I'm like, oh that's it. Can't tell me yeah. that's not a dude over there, right? So awesome. What was your favorite part of the day other than funnel cake? Oh, uh, I was like, oh man, <laughs> so you took away the funnel cake option. Uh, oh, the pretzel was good. We had a giant pretzel too. We we kept we ate. Um, we kept reasonably hydrated. Um, I don't know. I thought the Batman ride was fun. Like it was just a fun ride, and um, yeah, I think that was it. I mean, those were. The, I mean, there was. I, it was made way more exciting than I expected because mm-hmm. it's like, oh, we're the number one thrill park, and I'm like, okay, sure. And then it was. It was still cool. Like I think they had the most thrill coasters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, it'd be interesting to compare it to Cedar Point. We we are looking to go to Cedar Point. Hopefully this season. Uh, I've scheduled. I'm a, I I I don't. Hopefully when we come back from one of these Michigan trips, but I, I feel like we just might just go up <laughs> at this point. It's like three hours away. It's it's nothing to go to it, right? Um, mm-hmm. so, and now we're very experienced. Um, let's see what else is happening here. Is uh, it tip time? It is not tip time yet. I wanted to get, I wanted to show you one more thing. Of course you, you know, we've seen, we've seen the robot transformers, right? Mm-hmm. Grimlock, Optimus Prime. Why well, There wasn't a Bumblebee, right? Uh, but uh, now there's a Megatron. Here's a video that Podner shared of the now is the tank marath- is, is tank Megatron. Okay, so don't get terribly excited. But it is one of those voice <laughs> activated. It's going to transform itself. Oh, it extends. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Ladies. Uh, yeah, and it completely. <laughs> transforms by itself into Megatron. Can somebody give me a video of all three of these guys fighting each other? Yes. Now you have a nemesis. Now you have a nemesis. Katie, are you trying to do something for our tip on my watch right now? I've done this is twice and I just have to keep hitting the screen. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in just a moment <laughs> but after we watch this transforming Megatron. So now uh, the, the, I love that this, this thing is growing. Um, I, I, and not I and I gotta be I got you know not quite as excited as Optimus Prime and Grimlock. I mean those are no. like near and dear to our souls, right? <laughs> Very I mean, much so. So, um, but there's there's another big toy for you guys out there. What's, doesn't it ask you like how 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 you doing or what is what yes, is but in a very a very Megatron way, right? So. Yeah, but it's like very supportive. <laughs> it's supportive. Everybody like needs going? an emotional support Megatron, right? Yeah. So hey, mm-hmm. you know we're going to that movie. Have you seen the the generate the Transformers one trailer yet? Ooh, it's the no, C, I don't think the so. CG one where it's uh, Optimus and Megatron before they were Optimus and Megatron and they were buddies. Uh, buddy, Aww, buddy, like work robots. Yeah, it's like, it, yeah, it is kind of Transformers the college years, it seems, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's CG. It, it introduces like RC and Bumblebee and stuff like that. Um, I think Chris, Chris Hemsworth is is maybe Optimus Prime. Uh, so or Orion Pax. Uh, I'm sorry because we're throwing back that far. It the, you need to you you got to see that one. Um, I'm trying to see if the phrasing is. This does uh apparently range. From twelve hundred to eight or eight ninety nine to twelve hundred, so you know for special features. So no voice commands. Can't see the 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 voice commands here, um, but I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of this through the time. Katie, uh, first of all, I'm going to be shout out to our friends at Slice on Broadway. Five, yes. six, seven locations. I don't know right now, but I know if you go to Taco Mania this week, we'll give a plug to our friends that enjoy wrestling uh, for this. Um, there, there is a slice on Broadway right down there. Get your beers. Maybe you're tired of tacos. Maybe you tacoed out for the day. Hit over some slice on Broadway right there in the South Side Works this Sunday. Uh, check out our Taco Mania friends over there. Uh, so go check them out. Sliceonbroadway.com. Thank you, these guys, for supporting the show for well over a decade. And now I don't need to have to worry about getting food while I'm setting up the show. Uh, so, and, 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 and delivers a nice salad for Kate, for Katie as well. Yeah, yes. Salad. yes. Thank you I so much for the support. Yeah, guys, like, even if we're, uh, mixing up the, the, the requests. Uh, so, and they're buddies and they've been following us. They were following us on the WrestleMania trip. I, I, and I had a good conversation with them tonight about that. Katie, you have the first tip. <laughs> Not to reconnect. What are you doing? 
So, yeah, something we did at mm-hmm. Magic Mountain that we surprisingly never have done, at yeah. least consistently have done, is our watches had this magical feature called a walkie-talkie feature. So we were we were just, you hold the button down and I'm talking to you. <laughs> And, and, and like, we had a lot of fun with this. At one point, uh, Amanda, we connected with Amanda, and she was in the bathroom, and I was like, <laughs> are you in the bathroom <laughs> tinkling? Because <laughs> we're adults. Um, but, yes, we had a lot of fun communicating. Uh, while we were on that ride um, that goes upside down uh, and goes really fast. <laughs> the full uh, throttle, yes. The full throttle. I held down the talk button to Amanda, who was sitting in a restaurant, and, <laughs> and was just like, as long as I can hold it down. And it was like, as we took off, part of the loop, and then I had, couldn't hold on to it anymore. But yeah, she definitely so could She hear, just heard uh, screaming, screaming. <laughs> screaming as we went. We need to do this. Uh, so we have a trip planned uh, with our mothers. <laughs> to Dollywood, and, yes. and we're gonna have to do the same thing with them. <laughs> That's so we're funny. pointing everybody because I because your mom's got an Apple Watch, right? Nope, what? she does oh. not. Oh, oh mm-hmm. no, nope, she's free from her technology. Oh constraints. no, well, well, then she'll have to listen in on my mother's watch as yeah. we are screaming our heads off on a ride. <laughs> so, so the walkie talkie <laughs> it works pretty good. Uh, apparently, um, I thought this was kind of locational because you were walkie-talking me as we were relatively close on the highway driving back last night. Yeah, um, I thought so too. Yeah. So, but here you're at you're at your place across. Well, we'll just say cross town. Um, yeah. And and it's completely working. So that that's very interesting and kind of scary. So the the, the thing is like it's kind of buried for you to open the app. So you really should if you're using it for a day. Like I have it loaded here as one of my what do you call these complications? I think um on your apple watch and then you just go into it and i'm trying i'm trying to tap it in reverse here mm, there we go and load it up and now hey katie we're on the podcast oh no i didn't do it hey katie we're on the podcast yeah i think it's i think it's i think, I think zoom yes. i think zoom's like having her roll out but still you get the idea so yeah. a nice little feature. Uh, I think it's going to work. It's hard in the park sometimes because you just hear this rah, 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 and on your wrist and you feel the the, the kind of gesture, the tap gesture on it. Um, but I think if you have an AirPod in, it's going to work a lot better. Right. So, yes. which actually, ooh, that could be really handy on productions. No, I'm thinking about it. If everybody's got an Apple. Mm. So I got to think about that. Got to think about that one. Um, anyways, so my tip, I was really impressed with, I, I, I remember seeing something like this before, right? So I um, was posting something the other day, and I noticed some different stuff. And uh, I realized I need to do this on my phone, and I don't know where my phone went. My phone went. Oh, there it is. It's hiding behind my laptop. Hello. So uh, one of the biggest pet peeves with a lot of people these days is the idea that um, you have to, you feel like you need to post on like twelve different social medias or something, right? I mean, Katie, you probably have experienced this. Um, (laughs) No, not at all. No, (laughs) no, 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 no. So I I noticed this, and this appears to be mostly in the uh, app, the the Facebook app. Uh, There is a a little bit of a cross-post situation here. So let me move over here for you guys on the video version with me. Uh, Let me get rid of this stuff. And then if we're going to go to the Facebook app, and there's just a bunch of stuff loading. I need to not use my mouse for this. Uh, you go in and load, and notice at the top here, you have the public album, uh, and then you see an icon for threads and Instagram, and you can turn them on. And you can just say, testing for the awesome cast. And then I can add a picture to it, and let's just go ahead and take a picture of myself, I guess. Um, We'll go ahead and do this thing. There you go. Katie, you want to pose? There you go. And then we'll go ahead and post that and there. And I'm going to tell, I'm going to type awesome cast, right? And testing, let's, let's change that to testing cross post. Um, boom. And then it is going to go out from there and you hit your post. And now this is going to be on my Instagram, my threads. And because of a fun little, um, 
a site that we have uh, been talking about in the past called if if this than that if dot com. Uh, this will go to also my Twitter because my Twitter looks at my or at least if this than that looks at my Instagram to see that uh, my posts are being cross posted over. Now it doesn't happen right away all the time, but there you go. There it's posted over on my Instagram. If I pop over on my threads, hopefully I'm in the right account here, you'll see that I'm also over there. So Facebook, at least for themselves, has settled this problem for the most part, right? Uh, and we'll see if my Twitter has also updated from here. So now there's no longer, at least like you have sort of a vector for, see if that's updated, it has not updated yet. That takes a moment for the if this and that. But if you're not worried about timeliness, it's kind of a great feature for that. And then as they go, um, so basically all I'm missing, I just really wish it would cross post also to Blue Sky and Threads, not Threads, uh, Mastodon, and then I would be good to go uh, as far as things go there. Um, so that's, I feel like that's really handy. Uh, uh, Katie, uh, are there any, any caveats that you're kind of seeing with this process uh, in your first impression here? Oh, like things to do with it or things not to do with it? things not to do with it. I mean, there should be some <laughs> senses of things like, you know, uh, you know, you have to be conscious of like if, if you're doing a lot of pictures or something like that, uh, you know, uh, you know, things are going to I think I think Instagram's still going to crop you it, it, yeah. it, like make up how it's going to crop and things like that. Yeah, I haven't noticed that yet. Uh, but, uh, but I mean, I feel like it's inevitable. It's going to miss Q or something like that. And honestly, like it, it just did the picture full screen here. And then the ones I did earlier, well, no, that's not that. Like, it, yeah, it, it kind of did things. It's going to pick a direction, uh, but yeah. thankfully most of mine were vertical from my walk earlier today and, uh, and, and it worked out pretty well. So, um, these are the first two posts I've done with this. So I'm really kind of curious to see what happens with that. There's my splice post. So. Um, I'm because really it is just kind of like thinking about what that that trickle down is, right? What's mm -hmm. my point of contact? It used to be Twitter and Twitter would kind of spread out everywhere when APIs work that way. Um, or you go to Hootsuite and just hit pick, boom, 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 and go out. Uh, but th this seems to be the latest one. Well, this last, who knows with Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, but at least that's one last muscle, and you're still participating on all those platforms. And obviously, threads are coming into all the platforms as well. So at least they're being uh, relatively holistic with this situation. If, 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 if this is what we're going to be stuck with here for social media. Yeah, so. definitely. It's yeah. I like it. Oh, I thought, I thought of another tip whenever we're done. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I have a social media tip. Okay. So something we're seeing, and uh, I work with you, Doug off media. And we represent several clients or several of my clients, but one of our, um, something that we are starting to notice is Facebook is very much following up on if you're sharing uh, a photo that you did not take, um, if you are sharing a video you did not take and you do not properly credit the person, even if it's, you're not tagging them, like, but like if I put out, you know, for example, we talk about uh, a stat, uh, a medevac and the helicopter pics. Um, if we're not crediting who sent us those particular photos, um, we can get into trouble for that now because they're very much paying attention to that. Um, even Canva, you know, if you're using Canva Pro or even Canva, they have a variety of images that you can use, like images that you can't use, you know, whatever royalty for images. Um, if you're using that, you will, you can still get uh, hit, um, dinged by Facebook. And if something like that would happen, you are going to be required to, because it's happened to one of our clients, you are going to have to say when you downloaded that image, where you downloaded it from, uh, prove that it came from Canva. So really be careful about um, using other content that you are not directly creating yourself. Interesting. Um, I mean, as long as it's someone within your organization, that's one thing. But like if you're, you know, sharing sharing something on uh, wrestling, you know, this, this video, I think we're seeing a lot of that with um, when people are just sharing will videos willy nilly of like cat videos. They're like, our kitty is one I see a lot of where somebody else is like, look at these fun cat videos is their like name. And then they're sharing an owl kitty without crediting that particular creator. So I think this is what we're seeing in response to that. But yeah, so, so just kind of make sure you're tagging folks. Is this a pages situation? Or is this a, a general? Facebook person situation, do you think? We've, 
we've seen it with pages so far. Um, there's been two of our clients that have been hit uh, thus far. Okay. Uh, one was a Canva image and one was, oh gosh, where did they get that image from? It was something that they, it was a picture they had shared. Um, honestly, I think it was, it was a, a photo, like a classic photo they had from the mm-hmm. organization um, that uh, got dinged. Like, Oh, who, who did this? Why didn't you credit the person who took yeah, it? The photographer. Yeah. So, so are they, are they things you're modifying or are they things that you're, you're posting just a picture up at, uh, out of stock along with a, with text? Uh, both. So oh, the Canva okay. one was, was part of a graphic and then the other one sounds like it was just a photo. Because that's what I'm curious, because we use uh, for Fishing Without Bait for our covers, we've been using the photo section of MotionArray.com. Uh, yeah. So I'm wondering if that's something that we would get dinged with eventually and, and have to figure that out. So, um, But also I'm kind of wondering, because a lot of times we will make clips from the wrestling shows that we post, obviously, through IndieWrestling.us, but then we share that with the promotions and the wrestlers so they can promote it themselves. So mm-hmm. is this something I should be concerned with there or is this something that's already in their system? I don't know. Like, like, are they, gonna... um, I, I'm wondering if they've started like amping it up a little bit. I wouldn't be concerned until it happened. If that makes sense. Like I don't, I wouldn't, if you, if it's not, no, no, not now that I'm saying that and putting it out in the universe, but like, I would not like panic. Um, yeah, like if, are... it's, it's, yeah. And you might just have to say, I got it from here. If they decide yeah. to, yeah say something but it's not like it's not a they're gonna shut you down this is not a notification you get where your trademark has been uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've infringed upon somebody's trademark we're shutting your page down in the next 24 hours no, those are those are those are all list. bs those are all bs so yes. don't ignore those <laughs> of course um but it'll come in your in, your facebook inbox okay um okay. we all have facebook inboxes um that that's where it'll come from it's not like i said it's not a thing where they're i mean if you probably repeatedly do it there's probably going to be an issue but as of right now this is just the thing that we're keeping on um just on our radar okay hey things are going to change uh it, it's kind of inevitable copy production is going to come over to images um mm-hmm. curious if there's some application with ai in this as well um, so and, and that's also if you get it from a repository like canva or something like that although it feels weird that canva would do that because they kind of want to make things easier for you and you start getting dinged with that it kind of gets um so i know i know when i use music from motion array i can very specifically ask them you know i can say they can tell me if there's copyright id on youtube with the music that i'm using or mm-hmm. if it's not uh so i can i can you know work that out you know, and, and we've gotten, we've gotten ding for things like that. And, um, like one of my clients, like I use a music track for them and they're going to get like a con, a, you know, monetization share or something on their, on their thing, which do- doesn't affect anything really. And I don't think they don't mind. Uh, that's never become, it's never been an issue for the kind of content that we're providing there. Um, but then for not this show, but for mayhem show, we have an artist that we use. We know them. They're from Pittsburgh, basic sickness. And for, for a while, just like me back in the day, because I still get the checks from it uh, for a whole five dollars every six months. Uh, from Woo-hoo. CD, from <laughs> CD Baby still exists, uh, which Whoa. a lot of, a lot of independent artists would go to get their their CDs uh, uh, officially mastered and eventually started putting on a streaming service and stuff. But that also gets content ID. If somebody wants to take my old rap album that I'm not getting into right now, what it's called, uh, and Crap. wants to use it for something like they they might get dinged for something like that. So and it, it's 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 just part of the system so um yeah we've had weird ones where it's it, it like vimeo started tagging us for music from motion array that we definitely use and give us like a hard copyright issue on it and it's just for like the intros for the shows which is wild considering what music's used in the shows so i don't know what's happening there and i'm hoping that gets resolved soon for what we're doing uh for for indie wrestling so anyways there's some good tips for you. Hope that is helpful. Hope you guys have enjoyed a Wednesday edition, a later week edition of this. Again, we <laughs> do intend to be broadcasting live from some hotel room somewhere in Michigan. Uh, so I try, try to make it look. The, the, the Katie, my challenge is to make it look as as little as least awkward as possible when we do this from the same location. Okay. Yeah. Because we've done ones <laughs> where we both are like just sitting on the edge of a bed and it just it felt it felt and looked so awkward when I look back at the video. <laughs> it's I was so like, bad. I need to get. I need to make sure I get a hotel room with multiple chairs in it or something. Or maybe we something. I, like or do, do I set up? Maybe I 
set up in the lobby. There was a lot of people hanging out in the lobby all weekend at the Hampton Inn we were in. So weird. It was, it so was a swingers social. event. It had to be. It was a swinger hotel. It had. It was. It was yeah. There was. There was some evidence of that. I think. <laughs> Everybody's looking at us. Why we're not joining the party? I guess. So. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's what. That's that's world life. Uh, anyways, one of us could be in the car. <laughs> like, I'm traveling. We don't have to say where. <laughs> it, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, well, thank you so much, Katie. Uh, Katie Dudas dot com. Yeah. I'm getting used to it. Getting, getting yeah, used yeah. To it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for everything going on with you and uh, your story and everything. So, and of course, uh, you'll be traveling. You'll be hitting that marathon. You've been going for tacos and beers, and then then we're going to the track. <laughs> <laughs> Who did the track? <laughs> That's on the track. It sounds like we're going to a race, I like know. a horse race. Like we're going to go put on... some, some money on the horses, on the on the on the on the, on the dogs. They still they still greyhound races. I feel like that's not a thing they would do anymore. Anyways, I don't know. Something from... I saw the who the greyhounds were at the um the last part of the marathon last year. I'm hoping they're there. Oh. Was they were dressed in little outfits. Nice, nice. <laughs> Anyways, go check all that out at Sogatron on all your social medias uh, to see about what our adventures have been. I know some people have been uh, said they've been seeing our adventures in the desert here over the last uh, uh, weekend. So uh, that's going to be our last West Coast for a while. Uh, so we're very, very East Coast localized. It's like it's like Michigan, Charlotte, Pennsylvania. And that's like about it, I think, for the next several months. Ohio, uh, the West Virginia shows, of course. So. We'll we'll work it out from there. So thank you, everybody. You have been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network.